Hello, welcome to Literary Life, and welcome to today's video, which is a book review of This Time Tomorrow by Emma Straub. This book I am so excited to talk to you guys about. Um, my book reviews, first of all, are spoiler free. As always, I do have links below if you're interested in purchasing a copy of this book. This was a five star read for me. So for me, I give every book one to five stars. If it's five stars, I absolutely love the book. I just want everyone to read it and I want us all to talk about it. In some cases, the book has even just absolutely blown my mind. This was a book that I quickly fell in love with. So let me start with the premise. Our main character is turning 40 and it is the night of her 40th birthday. And her life at this point is, has been lived very passively and comfortably. She really hasn't stretched herself at all. She's grown up in New York City. Um, she still lives in the same apartment she has rented, I think, since college. Her and her father have a very close relationship. He was a single dad who raised her. Uh, her job, the school she went to through, uh, I think it's high school, She it's like a special academy where the kids have to apply, the parents are affluent. She has continued to work there. So that environment has remained very familiar. So I think you're seeing a pattern here of very little change. Um, she is dating a man, but their relationship isn't particularly passionate. Uh, she really isn't interested in marriage at this point. She doesn't have plans for children. So her life is just very, very static. Her father, unfortunately, is is actively dying. He is in the hospital. His body is shutting down. And she is in a state of incredible grief and mourning about this when she goes out on the night of her 40th birthday and then goes to bed, falls asleep, and wakes up as herself, but back at the age of 16. And through this experience, she is going to get to know herself better and her father through a lens, a new lens, a new set of eyes. I, you guys, it's so funny. I don't know what led to me putting this book on my radar, on my want to read list, but I wasn't overly excited about it. Even when I started it, I'm like, okay, the writing's really good. I'm, I'm enjoying the writing. This could be really corny and it's not, it's incredibly well written. It's made it tangible, not tangible, believable. Then I just fell in love because the author took it so much more beyond that into like this beautiful way of thinking about the ways in which our lives can unfold in different, in different manners, just by these simple little moment choices we make. Also exploring the complexity of ourselves and how we live our life, um, the how we live our life with others. There was a quote that I think summarizes this book so well that I had to jot down. I absolutely love this quote. That was the magic, how the same story could be told an infinite number of ways. That is exactly what this book is about. The same story being your life, how through the choices you make and the repercussions of those choices, your story can unfold in a million different ways absolutely adore this book you all i highly recommend it unfortunately this is a library book so it will not be going up in my recovery shop but this is definitely one of those great books to grab a good curl up and read book it's going to be a feel-good book it's just got everything to it absolutely love it guys highly recommend it if you've read this book let me know what you thought as well um, and as always let's go read some more books happy reading